Persian 2 from Headlock to Tars. So what we're doing is from front headlock, instead of the instead of our knee tap that we did in the other one, where we're, the chin strap is coming across and tapping this way, we're doing the opposite, where we break them down, we're looking for that leg, and see how this one went forward a little bit? We're tapping this side. Once he comes down, he's already in the position that he was just in good Dars position right here. And I have the benefit of my arm being under his head where I have the ability to lift him up a little bit in order to take this and shoot it in. So I'm not gonna stay north-south. Instead of going like this, once he gets down, I'm going to move perpendicular to him and shoot it in. And the same thing here. Here's my, uh, my choking, my backstop hand. This one, I'm gonna push it in, and what that does, it's a version of Itsy Bitsy Spider where you drive up. All I'm doing is taking everything, making my shoulder, making sure my shoulder is in his armpit all the way. I'm driving in, I'm pushing him in, elbow replaces, go over and work it all the way up. And now I can either sit to my hip and grab the leg and squeeze or start going over like that. And one important thing here as well, once you get to this position, the there's a couple ways of looking at it. One is you can pressure in like that, but that leads to more of uh, escapes on his side. Or alternatively, once we get here and we start turning to this side, is you really want to expand in here because right now it's it's as far as it's gonna go. Right here, once it's locked up, even I have this really, really deep on the back of my tricep. And the squeeze comes from me inhaling. So I just inhale, and it'll work. It's not a real tough squeeze. Again, lock the position in, and then fill in the space, that's all. 